On the first Sunday of Easter, we remembered how Jesus was known in his absence. On the second Sunday of Easter, we remembered how Jesus was known in the breaking of the bread. On the third Sunday in the season of Easter, we remembered how Jesus was known in doubt. On the fourth Sunday in the season of Easter, we remembered how Jesus was known in the morning. On the fifth Sunday of Easter, we remembered how Jesus was known in making him known. And on the sixth Sunday in the season of Easter, we remember how the disciples returned to Jerusalem. They gathered again in their room and Jesus was there. They were more comfortable now with the new way of knowing him. So they asked many questions. Most of them were foolish. Lord, will you restore the kingdom of Israel? Jesus cut short such talk. It is not for you to know the times or seasons. He then led them out of the room and through the streets. He went beyond the walls of Jerusalem to a hillside, perhaps near Bethany. Jesus stopped and they gathered around him. He lifted up his hands, looking at each one, and blessed them. He then withdrew, and a cloud took him out of sight. The disciples stood, looking into the sky, until someone says, Why are you looking in the sky? There were two men standing there, dressed in white. The disciples felt silly. What were they doing, looking up into the sky for what they could no longer see? The strangers then answered their own question. This was Jesus. He is gone now, as you have known him. It seemed like a great weight was lifted from their shoulders. The disciples turned and walked back to Jerusalem. Now they had to wait. What was this Holy Spirit, he said, was coming? How would they know it when it arrived? They waited and waited. While they waited, they found someone to replace Judas. God helped them choose Matthias. So now they were the twelve once more. But they still had to keep waiting. How long would it take for the Holy Spirit to come? Now I wonder, what part of the story you like best. What part of the story is about you or are you in? And what part of the story do you think is most important? I wonder if there's any story we could take away and still have all the story we need. Have a good week, my friends.